Harry ruthlessly threw cold water on Meghan political dream due to untold secrets on Duke's memoir. Prince Harry's memoir may not be helpful for Meghan Markle's political future, claimed royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams. Earlier this year, the Duke of Sussex announced he was to release a memoir through Penguin Random House, with first copies expected to hit bookshelves in autumn next year. Harry said the memoir would be accurate and wholly truthful and cover his childhood, his time in Afghanistan and life as a husband and father. Yet the announcement raised eyebrows and sparked speculation among royal watchers as to whether the Duke was likely to be critical of the royal family in the memoir. Harry and Meghan quit the royal family last year and moved to California, widening the so-called rift between the Sussexes and the rest of the firm. Tensions were exacerbated again after Harry and Meghan were deeply critical of royal life in a tell-all CBS interview with Oprah Winfrey. Meanwhile, some commentators have speculated whether the Duchess of Sussex may pursue a future career in politics, after Meghan lobbied high-ranking U.S. senators to allow paid family leave in America. However, royal commentator Mr. Fitzwilliams argued that Harry's memoir, and the public nature of the Sussexes' rift with the royal family, would not be helpful if Meghan does have political aspirations. He told, Harry's book is coming out, all of this, it may well not be helpful. I haven't seen it obviously, it's not until the end of next year, but this is something that's an important point. The expert added that, if Meghan were to pursue a career in politics, it would be in the Sussexes' interest to heal their relationship with the firm. Mr. Fitzwilliams continued, as far as the royal family are concerned, I think it does mean something important, yes. Anyone who is a politician wants an image that's caring. If you don't get along with your own family, except for your mother dash her family has let her down in various ways and that you can understand. But to not get on with the royal family, to have a rift with them as well, that would be very difficult for people to understand. So it's in the Sussex's interest if there is this intention that the rift with the royals is healed. Meghan has always been vocal in her opinions, having famously written a letter to Procter and Gamble to complain about a sexist advert aged just 11. In October, Meghan wrote an open letter to Congress after paid family leave was dropped from President Joe Biden's spending bill. Following outcry, the policy was put back on the bill, while Republican Senator Shelley Moore Capito revealed she had received a personal phone call from Meghan to advocate for the policy. Mr. Fitzwilliams considered Meghan's actions to be a form of lobbying and a sign that the Duchess' future may be in politics. Prince Harry's sweetheart Meghan Markle may use her friendship with U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris and the Obamas to promote her own political ambitions, claimed a royal biographer. He wrote in a column that the Duchess of Sussex may use her friendship with U.S. politicians to achieve her own ambitions. Tom Bauer, a British author who is currently writing a biography of the Duchess of Sussex, believes that Meghan may follow in the footsteps of other Hollywood actors like Arnold Schwarzenegger and Ronald Reagan to enter the world of politics. The Duchess could run for U.S. president within the next ten years, the author claimed. Prince Harry and Meghan have settled in Santa Barbara, California, where they live with their son Archie and baby daughter Lilibet. The couple stepped down as senior members of the royal family in 2020. Meghan Markle harbors serious ambitions to run for President of the United States, according to a report. After the Duchess of Sussex and husband Prince Harry dumped royal duties with their historic Megxit this year, the 39-year-old former Suits star now has her eye on the White House, a close friend told Vanity Fair.